Hey guys, we're doing a video on all the new lock screen and always on display engines on One UI 6.1. So on the left here, we've got a Galaxy S23 Ultra running One UI 6.0, and on the right here, we've got a Galaxy S24 Ultra running One UI 6.1. And the first immediate change you can see is that the clock is much larger on One UI 6.1, and notification colors are no longer colored. On here, you can see X, aka Twitter, is blue, which is like the color of you know what, well, it used to be the color of the Twitter logo. But now it's black. But it's, anyway, it's <laughs> like for example, X would be blue, Discord would be purple, Reddit would be like orange, WhatsApp would be green. But on One UI 6.1, the color is whatever color the clock is. For example, my clock here is white, so the notifications are white there. And we even want to wake it up. You can see the animation is a little bit different. And the clock on 6.0 kind of moves around. Like it goes from up there, to, see it went up there to the middle, to the bottom, to help prevent burning on 6.0. Point one, it kind of stays in the same spot. So there's that. The next change you can notice immediately is that the notifications are just black here, and on here it's like light gray. Even when we wake both devices up, you can see basically it's black, and here it's like light gray. Personally, I think 6.1 does it better. It's, they're a little bit easier to read, a little bit nicer on the eyes. So immediately we're just gonna go to the lock screen customization. First, we're gonna go to the clock customization if we tap the clock on both phones. The fonts are the same. The only difference on One UI 6.1 is you can pick, you can download system fonts from the Galaxy Store here, which says download fonts. So one of the fonts, like what was it called, Cho Choco Cookie something, you know those like fonts that people used to use and people make fun of them for using. You can set that as your lock screen clock font, but have your system font be different from that. So that's a nice change. The next option that's a little bit different is there's more clock options. So you can see one of them here is a calendar. The next one here is your events for the day, like a birthday or a meeting with someone. And the last one here is different time zones. So they a local time zone and add city like Tokyo or whatever you know if you want to see a time zone somewhere else and the last option which is merely not showing up oh there we go it does, doesn't show up on all the clock options but we're gonna go back to the main one we use at the bottom here it says show weather information so it replaces it makes the date shorter and shows the weather information so here you can see it's cloudy and two degrees celsius outside right now the last change is the auto clock color option so if we tap the auto clock color on both phones you can see on one UI 6.0 it basically looks the same it's like a little bit more blue Blue, but pretty much pretty similar to white on 6.1 it's much more blue well more more vibrant bold color and I noticed this with many wallpapers like it's not just this wallpaper basically every wallpaper gets treated this way in terms of color so there's that next up I would argue this next feature is actually the biggest feature the biggest new feature I would say to 6.1 is the widgets. We actually have lock screen widgets now. So we can add like battery, calendar, alarm. And as of now, it's only Samsung apps that have widgets, but yeah, that's all fun. So you can have those widgets. And of course we have that weather there beside the date. It's all fun and stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and save our lock screens here. And you can see 6.0 was faster for some reason. I don't really know why. I think this just needs an update. So I don't know. So when both phones are going to go to the always on display, you can see we have a bare clock. Obviously, I mentioned it earlier. And all our widgets are showing. And it looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Next up, we're going to show the media player on both phones. And immediately here, you can notice a big difference. On One UI 6.0, you can see here is just the name of the song and the name of the artist. You know, it's a little basic. On 6.1, you can see the full album art. Uh, you can't really interact with it though, but yeah, it shows a seek bar here. But when you wake it up, of course, you can interact with it. And it's a seek bar, it moves, and all that. But this looks more like the lock screen versus that. One difference, if you minimize this, if I can tap the arrow, and then we go back to the lock screen. So I think some people may prefer it to look like this versus uh, just having the full album art. Me personally, I like the full album art on the lock screen, but on always on display, I like the little to, to have the little media player. So yeah, trade-offs, but that's the biggest difference to the media player in terms of how it appears on the always on display. 
the main theme as you can see of 6.1 mainly is that uh, the lock screen is the always on display now. So next up, we are going to show how the wall, different wallpapers and filters react in 6.1. So on Windows 6.0, we have an option here for filter and you get many different filters like warm, cool, fro frosty, soft, and grayscale. On 6.1, you have an option called frame and effect. Effect sort of replace the filter option. You get the original grayscale and color, so you can pick orange, uh, purple, whatever you want really. Less options, which kind of sucks, but I guess they probably figured that people didn't use most of them anyway. But that's the new effects option. And under frame here, we got this, which uh, adds a frame to your photo. So you can add a couple different effects. Me personally, I like this one. It kind of looks like a iceberg. And then you pick the color here. And yeah, it's a look. Some people may like that. I personally think it looks best with photos. I'm gonna show that next, but I just wanted to get through this first. So there's that. We're gonna tap done on both to show the difference. And again, 6.0 is faster. But yeah, that's the uh, way that looks. And right now, you can, you're probably thinking, where are the wallpapers on the always on display? Well, that's because I didn't enable it, but that's how it looks without uh, the wallpaper effect. So we're gonna go ahead and enable the wallpaper effect that everyone likes to talk about. So we have show lock screen wallpaper here. And here you can see there is an option called erase background so if we tap this off we get that blue background that we had but if we do erase background we just get this and when it wakes up it looks like that personally i think this looks nicer than just having the erase background off because dan says like your background is like this weird dim blue color versus it's just be just being pure black so you know, there's that. Next up, we're gonna show how portrait wallpapers affect the lock screen and always on display. So we've got a portrait photo on both phones, meaning it's a photo I took using a portrait mode in the camera app. And you can see that it's a little bit different. It's the same options, but this time when we go to effect, there are more options. So, versus here, or is this the same filters that we I showed earlier? On here, we've got original blur which it, which is sort of meant to blur the background but it's already blurred anyway so we have grayscale and here we have grayscale background so the subject stays its original color but the background becomes black and white and then we have colors where the subject stays in color and the background you can change the color of the background to be orange uh, red green whatever you want and we have some fun effects like ink pastel pa pastel whatever <laughs> oil painting and yeah and they're fun you know if you have a cool looking subject like this cat <laughs> that i took a photo of uh i'm gonna pick for example ink and then we're gonna tap done oh, there oh sorry for this you have to tap the arrow in the top left corner it's a little bit hidden and we have our effect there we could do a frame as well if you we really want to we could add a frame Oh, I didn't realize there's an erase background feature too, which looks a little weird, but you can do that. I don't really, <laughs> you can do that sort of a look. Personally, I think I'm just gonna do without the, um, without the frame. So we're just gonna show it without the frame. Go back to no frame and now we're gonna tap done. All right, so now we're gonna go to our always on display. And even now you can see how different our wallpaper looks. I will go to always on display and you can see my always on display is just a floating cat in space now because of the race wallpaper feature. And our lock screen looks like this, which some people, to some people it's probably looks super ugly, but I think with certain wallpapers, it could look nice. So there's that. Last up, we're gonna show how the new always on display reacts with video wallpapers. So we're gonna apply the same wallpaper on both phones. For some reason it looks purple on the other phone, but whatever. We're gonna go to our lock screen and you can see our nice wallpaper. 
yeah, even though here you can see if I adjust exposure, it's purple clock, which <laughs> looks weird. But that was not the point we're making here. We want to show this, how the always on display reacts to video wallpapers, which is literally just a dim version of the video wallpaper. Like it takes a static frame and it just dims it. So yeah, I think that looks nice. One thing I want to mention, which I can't really show in this video, I have a post on my X account, Twitter account, I don't like to say X, I'll just say Twitter. On my Twitter account showing how the, the auto brightness on the always on display has changed. So for example, this I noticed reacts to light more, whereas this might stay dim, this will brighten up more. So if you always thought that this always on display kind of sucked at adjusting its brightness, I think this is better. So there's that. Um, one thing I don't like about this always on about the one thing I don't like about the new always on display is that they removed the different clock options that you could get on the always on display, like that image clock and everything. Next up, we're gonna show how the landscape mode looks on One UI 6.1. Oh yeah, in order to enable the landscape or on display you need to enable the auto rotate and change one setting from here where it says auto rotate you want to press auto rotate you get this menu and you have to enable it for the lock screen and home screen at the very least and i just tap done i personally like to enable all three tap done and then we're gonna rotate both phones to show the difference here so if we rotate one ui 6.0 one UI 6.1 and then we're gonna lock both phones portrait however on 6.1 we get this which is yeah our cat with the darkened wallpaper but it's in landscape on 6.0 you had to actually physically go into the always on display settings to do the same thing. Like if I did landscape, and then one, two, my always on display, then you get the landscape one. But in my opinion, this implementation is way better. Like if you're in, in a YouTube video and you go to lock screen, it will show up like this. So yay. Kind of sucks that we lost this auto brightness adjustment, which some people are gonna be upset about, but you know, it, it kind of is just what it is. You can see the settings here on both. We have the auto brightness and screen orientation options, which are gone on 6.1, but you know, like I showed before, the landscape mode does that anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And the always on and the auto brightness option, yeah, it sort of is gone as in it's always enabled on 6.1, but yeah. And But the biggest change really is that we lost all these options we had, like changing the color and everything of the, always on display clock and having an image wallpaper for your, you know, always on display. We don't have these anymore, unfortunately, but yeah. The last change, the very last change I want to show is the new option under uh, this menu, which is called one to show. So all the options have remained the same except for one new option called auto. It's a, it says auto. Basically the idea is if you turn your phone over and you wait a few seconds and you turn around, the screen will just be completely black. Oh, you can sort of see for a frame there it was completely black, but it's a little hard to show on camera. Like before the old, old always on display would dim to the minimum option. So it'll just look like, look like that. But now you can actually have it turned off completely when you use a new auto option. So that's fun and all. But yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, One UI 6.1 includes lots of fun new wallpaper, lock screen, and always on display options. Sucks that we lost a few legacy features that people really enjoyed, like the image for the always on display, having a different clock, adjusting the clock color. But it's you know trade-offs. There, I can sort of get why they improve, changed it so much. In my opinion, the new one is much more visible and easier to see, and it's more functional with the widgets and being able to see your full media player. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the new always on display and lock screen, or do you prefer to do you prefer how it used to be in One UI 6.0? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.